Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos, and in this video I want to show you a really smooth, uh, silky, uh, ba I don't know what else I can say, baby bottom smooth uh, LED light. The smoothest actually that I've ever worked with. Uh, and that's uh, all because of a little secret uh, that the light, of basically how the light actually uses the LED uh, to emit light. So what I got here with me is a light uh, from Came TV, which is, uh, I believe it's called the Edge, Edge LED light, uh, but I'm not actually even sure if that's the official name. Anyways, that's what I'm calling it. If you guys want the official name, again, all the info is uh, in the description of this video or on my website. But uh, more importantly, let me just open that up and actually show you guys this light and why I think it's so cool. Now you get this whole light actually with the ca uh, this case that you see up here, which is a nice, padded case so it's good if you plan to travel with this light see it has this layer up here and here's this light it is not small and that's actually one of the things that i like about it anyways let me take that out and kind of show you guys uh, what else you get here so uh, as always comes with an ac adapter so you can power the light uh, also comes with uh, actually two sony npf style batteries and these batteries are, you know, are great because they allow you to use this light on location and actually power the light for almost two hours. Give and take depends on uh, the intensity of the light basically they put on. But uh, again, it's really cool because that means you can you can roll with this light uh, on location even if you don't have access to power uh, and you can still get it working. And they provide the, these two batteries for you and they also even provide a charger. Uh, so you can, you know, dual charger, so you can charge both of the batteries, so it's pretty sweet. And another thing is, is just this little cable safety thingy, which I've never had to use it, but this will be more for, like, let's say if you want to mount this light in a studio, so sort of setting to, like, uh, studio bars, and then you would use, just use this as a sort of a second safety, so in case, the you know, the screw ever l l goes loose, the light doesn't fall on your head. And anyways, here's the light itself. So what I like about this light is the fact that it's, uh, it's got a very nice and smooth surface, as you can see up here. And there's actually no LED lights to, to be visible up here. And that's because the LED lights are actually not even behind the screen, but they're basically all around this edge here. They're kind of hidden in the frame. And they're very powerful LED lights that what they do is they kind of shine the light into here, into this frosted kind of diffusion material. And then that then reflects the light and creates a very even soft light. If you ever used LEDs before, especially bigger LEDs or bigger surface area lights, you know that a lot of times you end up getting kind of these artificial looking shadows where it kind of looks almost like a, like a little square pattern uh, on your actors' faces. And that's because you have all these little LEDs and they all cast separate shadows. You know, the way to remedy that is by putting diffusion and then sometimes you have to double diffuse it, but then that means your light output is decreased. Well, this light is very powerful uh, and that, and yet at the same time, it provides a very, very, like I said, the smoothest quality of light that I've ever used. Also, it's a big surface area light, as you can see up here. So that means that if you keep it, let's say, uh, within like four or five feet of your actor's uh, face, you can get very nice looking, pleasing soft shadows because it's, it is a fairly, fairly big, uh, like I said, uh, light. So you don't even need any other uh, soft boxes or anything like that, any diffusion material in front of it, uh, which is really good because another thing you'll notice is that the light is very thin. It is super thin, in fact. It's about, I would say, like the thickness. Actually, I think my finger is even thicker than that. So it's nice to have a light that's this thin yet this big because that means you can fit it into a lot of places. Um, you know, like let's say even in a car, for example, or a small room, you can put this up against the wall yet have a nice big surface area light. If you try to achieve it any other way, you would have to, you know, have a, like a normal light and then put up a big soft box, which if you know, those soft boxes sometimes extend quite a bit from the light. So that's a nice thing. And now also the light itself comes with uh, here, uh, V-mount uh, connections. So you can actually power it using V-mount batteries. Uh, also, it comes with the Sony NPF style uh, battery mounts. So you can, like I said, use the batteries that they provided or, or other Sony NPF style batteries. And then here you would plug in your AC adapter. So let me maybe actually connect this and kind of show you guys uh, what kind of controls you get with these lights. There we have it. 
and you have two knobs one is the intensity so it goes from 10 percent to 100 so i'm just going to turn this on and you can see the lowest setting and it even shows you here as a digital gauge to actually will show you then the intensity and the, also the color temperature because this is also uh, dual temperature so you can change it from uh, 3200 and you can go all the way to 5600 uh, kelvin uh, temperature uh, and again the intensity can make it pretty damn bright actually i don't know it's too bright <laughs> uh, okay there as you can see i can have a nice kind of soft quality of light i'll just kind of put it this way maybe so so i already have one light here in the studio so you can kind of see what quality it creates the kind of soft shadows on my face and that kind of stuff uh and it's uh it's just almost incredible when you first just see it with your eyes just how nice and smooth this light is like just uh, like i said the kind of light that gets emitted and that's because of how the leds are kind of hidden behind this frame and yet they're never directly lighting your object it's just this whole frosted material is actually what's emitting this very very nice smooth and pleasing light and because you can adjust it from all you know all the way down to you know of like 10 percent intensity which uh, what it's on right now you can use it perfectly for like a little fill light even if you want to use like a, as a bottom fill uh you know or let's say you know a, a opposite of your key light things like that so you can use it as a, almost as if you had a let's say a bounce board but you know you have more control obviously so that's kind of what's cool about it but you can also use it as a key light like i said if you blast the sucker all the way up which is going to blind you guys so <laughs> right now i'll turn it off and that's kind of how i used it uh on this uh, film that i worked last where i had this light now i'll tell you guys another cool thing is that i don't know if this is officially <laughs> you know how King tv is marketing this light but in my experience i actually found that this light is quite uh, weatherproof what i mean by that is we're shooting and by the end of the shoot it was pretty much you know pouring completely uh, and uh, you know everybody got soaking wet including all the equipment and including this light especially because the cameras at least were as much as we could were, were hidden under umbrellas but this light we just had it out there on a stand and it was raining no problem even though it has almost looks like it's these little vents here although they're not really open so maybe it's just like a kind of a heat sink to take away some of the heat from the leds even though it was raining uh, right directly on the light the light never stopped working on us uh, i did eventually just because after a few hours i got worried and i covered uh, just here the back part with a, basically a little garbage bag to make sure that these contacts don't end up getting co corroded because of the water uh, but otherwise like i said most of the light was just exposed no problems and also we had another mishap while working on the film which is uh, just part of working on a movie set especially when you do working on like an ndb uh, budget film where you kind of have to move really fast so we had this like i said standing all by itself on a light stand uh, and it was sandbagged and everything but because it is a bigger surface area so it's going to catch more wind and the wind really picked up while the light was really high on a, on a stand and eventually the light toppled over and it fell uh, from a big height it was about I would say uh, about 10 maybe 12 feet we had it up on the light kind of using it as a, like almost simulating like a street light and anyways fell hit the concrete <laughs> it wasn't even grass and I don't know if you guys can see it but there's little chips here that we got, but that's literally all that happened. And that's because this is actually built out of, uh, I think it's magnesium uh, alloy or something, because it's, it's like a metal kind of surface. That's what it feels like. And it's, yeah, and it's very durable, as you can see. It, it literally went like this and hit the, <laughs> the concrete and it survives. I was actually, well, everybody kind of jumped to, you know, to try to rescue the light after the fact. And we got it up and the first thing i said is like uh oh let's let's see if it still works if not we kind of have to switch up the lighting here and we were like i said running behind schedule so uh yeah but i was able to like i said put it back on my light stand to, to turn it back on and it worked no problem so still works to this day as you guys can see so if you want a durable light uh that's also very nice and smooth it allows you to give you really nice kind of a soft quality uh, to your shadows um, then instead of getting a traditional light and then putting a softbox on it, I think this is a, a, a great alternative. So I'm going to provide the links to where you guys can get this light. Uh, uh, also, you know, all the latest prices, all that stuff and the specs, uh, which are usually also going to be on my website, tomantasfilms.com. Uh, so go visit uh, my website for all of that if you're interested. And uh, if you like this video, uh, hit the like button, share it as always. And if you haven't already, subscribe because I have a lot more other gear reviews, also filmmaking tutorials coming up on this channel.
Anyways, thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, my name is again Tom Antos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.